Welcome back everyone to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be telling, showing you guys how to kind of make this environment. Now, this is an environment I'm kind of working on. Uh, it's kind of a work in progress, as you can tell. In my game, my recent game coming up called Soulforge, I'm going to hopefully release a devlog on that actually soon, so hit the subscribe button to check it out. Uh, now, in this environment, the essential idea here is to just add things in the actual game. So I'm not going to show you how to make the fire. I'm not going to sh uh, make you show you how to make the level scene, stuff like that. It's the actual environment. So we're going to be working with the world environment node. So the idea of this is that you can see that there's a lot of uh, blue or sorry, not blue, orange fog. Uh, it kind of feels like a fireplace. At least that's the vibe I'm trying to go for. So let me show you how we can do this. Now, this is our current project that uh, hopefully you guys have something similar. It's just a very simple scene where I can walk right, left, up uh, with the player, with the default script. I just have literally a box where I can collide it with. It has a static body, and that's basically it. There's nothing to this, nothing crazy, and just a camera, obviously, as well, connected to the player, uh, so we can actually see the player. Okay, now, in our world environment, I have a few things, and but I'm going to undo these so we can go from scratch together. So from, for our environment, let's create a new environment. Next up, we're going to go to the background and select sky. Now, this one is somewhat optional, to be honest. Sometimes I do like to add uh, custom color or uh, sky, depending on which vibe I want. Custom color could kind of give you a darker feel if you're going for a more horror game. I'm going for a more cozy-ish game, so that's why I'm going to pick sky in this one. Now, in the sky, this is where we can actually, well, you can see that our sky is black. That's probably not ideal. So let's actually add our sky by going to sky here, and we can do the procedural. Now here you can see this is kind of a grayish sky, and that is because if we click into here and we go into the sky again, we can even go to the ground and sun and resource. Well, forget that. Uh, but mostly the sky and the ground. Now you can see that the colors kind of correspond to our scene because they actually do correspond to our scene. So we can change these colors and adjust them to whatever we want. Now, I'm going to show you the values that I used. So for my top color, my top color, uh, let me just copy paste the code, the hex code. Oops. There we go. So now I have a orange skyish. You can see this is the color. If you want to copy the hex code, you're more than welcome. I will attach this probably uh, in the description down below if you want to check out the project files. Uh, now for the horizon color, this one we can actually keep the same. And then for the bottom color, I'm going to change this to a little uh, less dark gray. So it's a little easier on the eyes, look just slightly. And this horizon color, we're going to change to a little bit yellowish. Now you can see in the distance, it's a little yellow and the ground is a little less dark, a little less brown, I would say. And the curve, we're going to keep the same. And then the sun angle. I'm going to put it to 177. And then last thing for the energy multiplier, we're actually going to change this to 0.1. Now this will make our scene a lot darker. Now you're more than welcome to play around with this number a little bit. In fact, we might actually play around with it later when we uh, test out our scene. But at the moment, I'm going to keep this at 0.1. All right, what is next? Now that we've added our uh, sky, what do we want to do next? Well, the next thing we can do is go to SSAO. You can turn this on and your project sometimes will lag a little bit. That's because it's turning on one of the uh, beefier uh, renders, essentially. And here we can uh, adjust a few values. Here I'm going to put 0 0.6 and 0 0.0. In horizon, I'm going to put 0 0.5 or 0 0.6 if you'd like to just round. 0 0.65 and then 1. Now, sometimes it's hard to see the effect uh, in the actual project. So this is where you would actually play test and change these numbers around uh, because you can see the environment does look quite different. In fact, we just can't even see our player anymore. You can if you can if you look very closely, but it's just very difficult. But in this case, I do suggest trying to change some of the values and then going into your game. Or you can actually use, uh, I believe, the new, there is a new uh, game here. We go to game and embed game on next. I believe this will allow us to uh, change our scene while we're actually adjusting the values, but I'll let you kind of play around with that later. 
Let me turn this back off. Go to our 3D scene. And let's take a look at what else we want to change. Now, there's a few other more important ones that we're going to change, and that is Glow. So we're going to go to Glow and enable this. And inside of this guy, we're going to go to Levels. We're going to change some of these guys. I'm going to change this to 0 0.5, 0 0.3, or 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, uh, 1, 1. We're going to keep that at 1. This one we're going to put at 0 0.5, and we're going to keep this one at 0. We're going to normalize. And then the intensity, we're going to bring it back to 0 0.08. And Bloom, I'm going to put this up to 0 0.3. And the ed I'm going to put this to Additive. And now we can go to Fog. So that is our Glow. And we'll uh, kind of close all these. So now we're going to go to the Fog and enable this. Now you can see we have some Fog. But our sky is gone, completely gone, which we don't really want. So let's change some of the values uh, to make it I'm back a little bit. So we're going to go to the color and I'm going to select completely white, which would be FFFF. Now for the density, I'm going to bring that down to zero. The sky effect, bring it to zero. And this, I'm going to bring it to two. This, two, zero, zero, five. Yeah, two zeros. Now you can start uh, playing around with these, but let's change a few other things, specifically in our volumetric fog. Let's go to our volumetric fog and turn this on. Now you can see we get a very similar effect as before. Uh, this is where we're going to start changing some colors and make it a little nicer. So here I'm going to use a orangish color again, so you can copy this hex if you'd like. But it's kind of a whitish orange color, so I just dragged this here and then adjusted the side. Next, you can go to the emission, and for this guy, we're going to pick a bluish color. So here, we're going to go to emission. I'm going to put this guy in. Now we're going to go to emission and turn this to 0 0.07, 0 0.8, 0 0.1, and there we go. That's it. Now we have a kind of bluish orangish color or a feel to it, and you can start adjusting these as you want. You can either bring this up, or you can even bring it back to orange if you'd like, okay, whatever you want. So you can kind of play around with these numbers or these colors. I'm gonna leave it at a, maybe I'll bring it down to a lightish blue. because I think the blue is a bit too intense, so I'm gonna leave it like that. All right, lastly, we're gonna to go to adjustments. Let's uncheck this so we can actually see the adjustments. And we're going to go to the brightness. We're going to leave all these actually and go straight to saturation and put 1.02. Just bring it up slightly. So the saturation will kind of give that warm feeling. And if you kind of max this out, you can see everything kind of becomes a bit too warm, which is not exactly what we want. I do suggest playing around with this number, maybe bringing it up by 0 0.01 uh, in, uh, incrementally and then just see how it feels. Now for the color correction, we're going to add a color correction. Uh, we're going to add a gradient. Find it, gradient 2D. I'm going to go in here. No, not sorry, not 2D. Uh, gradient texture 1D. We're going to go in here, and this is where we can start to play around with some of the colors a little bit more. So here we're going to add one in the middle, and I'm going to we'll click this, and we can kind of change this to a brownish uh, orange color. Maybe somewhere like this, just the color. And yeah, I think that's decent. So let's leave it like that. And that's basically it. All right, so this is our scene. Um, this is essentially what we have. Now, if we hit play, you can see my scene obviously looks very odd and kind of hard to imagine. You know, but that is the same settings as, let me bring it over real quick. I can't bring it over right now, actually. So, uh, but if you go back to the beginning of the video, that's the same setting as, as the game I showed you at the beginning. Uh, now, I do just suggest that you play around with some of the numbers. With the density, you can play around with it. Uh, the sky effect, you can definitely play around with that in the fog. Bring it up a little bit. 
<clears throat> you can go to the uh, volumetric fog as well, play around with some of the colors, uh, the density of this as well. So you can see if I bring that back down, it's pretty weird. Uh, but if I bring it up a little bit, we get a bit more fog, etc. So I do suggest playing around with these. Uh, a little reason why my scenes just look different is because of the lights that I added to the game. So I added lights and some particle effects. So it does look obviously a little different. But this is the environment I made with it, or the environment settings. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button down below, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video, which hopefully should actually be my devlog for the, my game that I'm making. And yeah, so I'll see you guys all in the next video.